dysfunctional vet here. Got my wires. I've got them trimmed. You'll notice that one side has writing on it. The other side doesn't have any writing. This piece right here that I'm moving my fingers on is completely smooth, whereas this one right here has grooves on it. You have to decide what your polarization is going to be. Let me explain that real quick. I'm going to use this plug. It's wet out here. I don't want to get my ground fault wet. If you notice, one of these slits is larger than the other one. This acts as both your neutral and your ground. And in the ground fault, this is, um, if there's any kind of uh, disparity noted inside the thing, it clicks out very quickly. You also have on all plugs, you have a ground lug, which in this case will hook to a piece of uh, number 14 solid copper, which will come over here to a four foot ground stake, which I'll drive in over here. The plug will be oriented so it makes the little monkey face, as they say. So I have to decide which one of these wires I want to use as the hot and which one I'm going to use as a neutral. For convenience sake, I'm going to use the one with writing as the hot. So it will go here. The one that's a neutral will go over here because this is both my neutral and my ground. So when you're wiring this thing, pay attention to your wire. Almost all wire has something on it, even if it doesn't have writing, so that you can orient it if polarity is important. This is particularly important when you're dealing with safety issues and also uh, if you're working with AC, uh, DC voltage. So with that said, uh, I'm not going to actually wire this because I'm going to use ground fault. You'd put this on, you'd bend this around, and then you'd tighten it up and you'd be good. Well, all I'm going to do is stuff all this back inside the box along with the plug, close it up, and call it quits.